chaps and chapettes clean shave always does look a little bit weird when you first shave it's just like as if I wasn't enough of a little kiddie, you know, the baby face coming out to play. Nonetheless, getting into this video, I'm talking about the 4231 formation and how we got on in Foot Champions Vos 4 with the team. So, as you can see, we've got the post patch gameplay right here. It's actually uh, pretty interesting because you now have your kits. So, obviously, you've got a home and away kit. And then whatever kit you select, your opponent will be in the opposite kit. So it's both of them your kits. It's quite strange, but I think it's a it's a decent addition so that people aren't able to select and cherry pick their matches. Basically, I think that's why it was uh, introduced in the first place. But as you can see, we're playing the four two three one. This is in Foot Champions in our first game. We're a pretty decent team. We we basically just take off. Um, Immobile and Benzema bring on Lozano and Alice Andrini and in terms of why this formation I think is the best at the moment is because there has been some pros that have been saying that the game has noticeably slowed down since the patch and um, therefore the passing sort of possession style does seem to be the best style at the moment to go for. I'm not saying it's like the only style and it definitely is but it seems to be a very powerful style of play at the moment in this game. And the thing is, is that you've got a lot of options for triangle passing, for example. So you can have the right back, uh, the CDMs um, linking up with the right attacking mid on the right. And then you've got left back, CDM, left attacking mid. And then you've got left attacking mid, cam uh, in the middle, and then striker. So you've got like triangles basically everywhere in the formation which means you're able to hold possession really nicely. And I definitely think, actually, that's a good tip to play some triangle passing and it will really open up the defense and also enable you to keep the ball much easier. And I think it's something that people don't often think about. When you even sit in the 4-4-2 there, you can just draw out the triangles. And um, yeah, it's basically just a really good way of holding possession and building up. So definitely make sure that you're doing that as well as doing LBA passing as well. Because if you're doing an LBA pass, giving it to one player, and then that player can make the run, and then the second player can pick out the third type thing. So, I mean, it might seem quite simple, but often the simple things are things that you, you don't think about, and then, you know, they can help you out in the game. So, DH Techs actually did use, I'm pretty sure, the 4 2 3 one in the um, recent tournament, which was, which was uh, interesting because a lot of people were using a 4 4 2 as well. 4-4-2 is definitely a really powerful formation, but I think when a 4-2-3-1 comes up against a 4-4-2, the 4-2-3-1 is usually just going to dominate the game. And it, it, one of the reasons as well why it is arguably the best formation right now is because it's good against the meta or the mainstream formations. Like the 4-1-2-1-2 of the center mids that a lot of people use, you can basically dominate the midfield because you've got an extra midfielder. The 4-3-2-1 is kind of the same thing, although they, they are three in the middle, but you've basically got five midfielders. So most of the time you're gonna be able to dominate. Another tip is as well, game management. So we go one nil down against this guy. He's got Ronaldo, he's got a pretty, pretty legit team to be honest. Um, but we just up the pressure and the pressure play seems to work quite a lot with this formation because you have such a expansive, but not expensive in my case, uh, defense that you're able to apply more pressure without sort of hindering your defensive abilities because if you go 4-3-2-1 and applying a lot of pressure then you know you've only got your four at the back you haven't got any dms sitting in front or anything like that whereas this you've got the two cdms and it enables you to do a lot of triangle lba passing going forward while still knowing that you've got your cdms that can sit back and i think it gives you a lot of confidence in your play this formation the fact that you know you're so defensively solid, it means that you can take more risks and score more goals in attack. So as you can see, we go three games and three wins. So just some more clips to sort of further solidify how the 4 2 3 one works and also how it can be used in a different style of play. Because as you might have seen already in the uh, squad builder, we did an Inter Milan squad with a 4 2 3 one same formation. But the only difference is it's sort of lower pressure and counter-attacking play. And I think it was quite obvious that with this new patch, after a while it became quite obvious that low pressure, letting them come to you type thing, doesn't really work at the moment. And sort of counter-attacking isn't as powerful. I'm not gonna say it's dead. I'm definitely not gonna say it's dead, um, but it isn't as powerful. But as you can see here, uh, we're just basically doing a lot of build-up play, a lot of passes, a lot of short passes 
trying to open up the defense. I see he drags out his defender there. Douglas Costa, lovely little drag back, which is incredibly good this year as well, to be fair, the drag back so fast. But um, we find ourselves 2-1 down because of a couple of silly goals, and we up the pressure literally by 20. Chance creation goes up. And I feel like the 4 2 3 1 really is suited to high chance creation, high pressure, because you have that much um, of a solid defense behind you. So you've got two CDMs and then the four at the back as well. And it means that I, I feel like the best way to play is just to pile everything on of them, really. Just every single pass almost. You'll notice here um, that almost every single pass is sort of with purpose to an extent with the Inter Milan team more so than the other team but also LBA passes basically most of the passes just to be able to get the one twos off and you'll find that I do that with CDMs here as you see Matuidi literally running straight through the defense we pick up a W and then into the next game a pretty legit team it's got to be said so Gomez making a run straight through the middle we get an LBA pass off Icardi just sort of waiting for that gets another one two with Icardi shoots Decent save. This is right at the start of the game as well. Could rather getting the ball across. Gomez tucking it away. Even Manolas coming forward there, the driven pass. You have to kind of you have to look up at your opponent and you have to think, based on his formation as well, where is the gap? And if you see a gap, a lot of the time you want to be doing a driven pass straight through and then creating some space or creating a chance with the LBA passing. So don't rush it too much. Don't go for the end game type thing. The 4-1-2-1-2 is a kind of formation where you are going to be um, a bit more aggressive in your style and not really like passing it around as much. Um, but with this formation, you're going to be trying to get it out wide, bring back the left back and the right back often to create the space and the overloads at the end of the day because we've already said with the 4-1-2-1-2, it's already got one less midfielder. If you're bringing in the left back and the right back in the game like we are here with Lukaku, we're opening up the space. As you can see, we do a, an LBA pass and he's in behind. At this point, there's no right back to track him. He has to drag across his centre back. And at that point, it's GG's. So bringing forward your left back and right back. And um, if you don't have space, you can switch to play because it's got such, such great width in this formation. You can just switch it from left back to right back. I think I saw hashtag Harry doing that quite a lot in the um, recent EA tournament, of course. Um, although he didn't progress too far, but he's been using this and getting a lot of, I think, like 40 and O's and stuff like that, this formation. And uh, it seems to be in this patch that what seems to work for me anyway, from what I've tested, is high pressure play, um, controlling the game, um, and just lots of LBA triangle passes, and all the rest of it. So yeah, I definitely do think that this is the best formation at the moment after the patch. Make sure to leave a like if you want to see more of this type of video. You know, informational videos and lots of tips on how to get better at FIFA. As always, the road to glory will be back. Daily uploads are on that grind. And I'll see you chaps and chapheads on the next M30 episode. My mind.